Hey guys, welcome back to the Suction Hikers. Um, I know it's been quite a while since I last posted a video, uh, but I promise more are coming. Uh, but I wanted to create a short, vi short video, a sneak peek video of our upcoming trips and just let you know there's more videos coming. Um, this summer we've got so much planned, so many trips planned. And I'll be making a lot more videos and posting them. But um, just a quick, quick sneak peek. We're going to be taking a trip to Europe. We're going to visit London. We're going to visit Paris. Uh, we're going to visit uh, Rome, Barcelona. So be on the lookout for those videos. Um, and then later on, we're going to be going to Mount St. Helens. Yeah, the volcano Mount St. Helens. And... Uh, we're going to climb it, and uh, I'm really hoping to see some steam or some lava. It'd be, it'd be an awesome trip if we're, we're up there and it starts to uh, steam or gurgle or whatever it's going to do. But uh, then on that same trip, we're going to take a, a side trip to the Redwoods National Park, uh, visit that. Uh, the Redwoods are these gig gigantic trees that grow in California, uh, and they're they're everywhere, uh, especially in that area of the redwoods. Uh, that a state park, it's a national park. Uh, and then while we're there, we're going to be so close. We're, we're going to take a trip out to San Francisco, and I'll take a lot of video there and I'll post some videos from San Francisco. Um, after that, we're going to be coming back home for a little while. In a couple of weeks after that. Um, I'm going to be returning to the Pacific Crest Trail, and uh, if you saw my previous videos, I ended up I ended my my last section hike just before the Sierra Mountains because of a hurricane that was hitting California at the time, Hurricane Hillary. But uh, uh, this coming uh, summer, I'm going to be going back and starting at the Sierras where I left off, and then go try to complete the entire Sierra section. Um, and possibly climb Mount Whitney, but, you know, depending on the weather and whatnot. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. That's going to be a whole series of videos, I'm sure, because that whole area is going to be spectacular. Or it's going to be an epic trip. So then after that, um, I come home for a while, and then in somewhere later or later, late summer, we go to Missouri, to a place called Echo Bluff, Echo Bluff State Park in Missouri. I hear it's real beautiful. I've never been, so those videos should be pretty nice, and uh, I'll be posting those as well. So just kind of a little, you know, quick sneak peek of uh, all of the trips and the videos that are coming up this summer. Um, so it's going to be it's going to be a great hiking season. Stay tuned. So. Uh, one last thing, you know, uh, I wanted to uh, post a video that I never got a chance to post from January of 2022. It's a winter hike video. I was looking at it, looked beautiful, kind of short, but still real nice. And it was super cold that day. So uh, it follows this right now. So thanks, guys. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos. All right. Hey, good morning everyone. I am coming to you live from DeKalb, Illinois. Beautiful downtown DeKalb, Illinois. We're actually on a winter hike. And uh, as you can see, last night it snowed pretty good. And uh, we were anticipating about two to four inches. I think four to six inches actually fell here. But I want to flip the camera around so you can see ahead of me the hikers and how we're trudging through the snow. So it's not too bad. I mean, if you have trekking poles and micro spikes, it should be pretty nice. Look at this frozen lake over here. It's beautiful. And then behind me, there's the caterpillar and her brother. There's one up over here. Is that a lake? And then we can continue. No. Then we can continue. I don't know. 
safe. So when we started, it was nine degrees. It should be about 10 or 11 degrees right now, something like that. I think we're only gonna go to about 15 or 16 degrees out here in western, you know, west of the city of Chicago. We're west of the city of Chicago by about 40, uh, maybe about 50 miles, maybe a little bit more, but anyway, we're far out west where temperatures are going to be a little bit lower and then the wind has been blowing just a little bit to make it even colder but it should be fine the sun is out the trails are open and you know it never snows on the trail or rains anyway I will take some more pictures and a couple of more videos and then we'll pick it up a little bit. guys we are back all right so we're still trudging through the snow you can see how thick the snow is we have my hiking buddies up ahead of me so I just wanted to give a quick update we're already in about three and a half miles so we're gonna probably try to do about eight miles today and uh, and call it quits go we'll get us We'll get some food, drinks, whatever. But it's freaking cold out here. Anyway, part of the game coming up behind me. Anyway, I'll pick it up later. Everybody. Well, we are six and a half, six and a half miles into the hike. Still trudging through snow. It's beautiful though. It's a nice winter wonderland. It's white everywhere around here. It's so nice and quiet too. We did catch sight of a field mouse. Uh, run through the snow. And I thought, you know, it's got to be really tough for that field mouse to be living out here in this a winter wonderland like this. But who knows? He might be having a much better time of it, much better life than we are. We don't know the situation, but I just thought what's difficult for us may be not so difficult for him. Anyway. We are almost finished. We'll probably only do about about eight miles today, uh, just because it's kind of tough hiking through the snow. There's Jan. How do you feel, Jan? Okay, good. Good. <laughs> yeah. I'm following your footsteps. 
Yeah, so there's a parking lot over there. So we're almost done. It's been a pretty nice hike. Hiking through this winter wonderland. I'll flip the camera on so you can take a look at this field. Hey guys, I just wanted to point something out to you real quick because I just came across one. This is where a mouse is under the snow. You can catch the trail of the mouse. And I think this is what coyotes follow too to catch the mice and survive out here. But this is a, a mouse track or mouse uh, route that they use. I'll flip, the, I'll flip the camera around. All right, so you could probably make out that little line right there. And this mouse went across the trail this way. But if you look over there, there's more trails where the mice are like running through underneath the snow. And I think what the coyotes do is they see that and they just smell through the snow that uh, there may be a, a mouse underneath there. And uh, that's how they catch their mice and survive out here. But I uh, thought I'd show you that beautiful shot of this grassy field. It's pretty nice because you only get to experience this only a couple of times a year, especially up here. You know, for the entire month of December here in the Chicago area, we didn't get any snow. There was no, we did not, we didn't have a white Christmas. And so now it's all falling in January and we're about to go into February. Uh, but uh, typically February has been a much colder than January or at least over the past couple of years. But uh, so far January, it's been getting a lot of snow. Anyway, we are almost at the uh, parking lot, so I'll end it here and pick it up once I get over there.